Hey, this is Digital Bike Computing. Today we are looking at a Synology NAS. This is a Synology storage device that's going to be rackable, racking into a cabinet like what is here behind me. Let's just look at it, let's just talk a little bit about it, show you the different parts, what it may be used for, and we'll cut back right after this. So here we got the unit. This is the Synology RS818 RP Plus. This is what we call a NAS. This can be configured as a SAN or a NAS. We are gonna be using the purpose of this is going to be for a NAS, which essentially is just gonna be a file storage device for storing some data. So you can configure this essentially the same as you would have a file server. So this device would commonly be used in an organization. You're going to rack this. You'll see that it's a rack mountable unit. We'll look into that in a little while. Um, but uh, it has obviously four slots for disks. You'd have your disks inserted into here and then you get this onto the network so that then your users can access this, access the data, whatever sort of data may be used for this particular unit. Um, in our case, we're gonna be using this for backups. So this is our backup repository, so that every single night when we run backups, the backups are gonna be run and stored onto this particular device. So as I said, there are four different slots in here, and I literally just pull this tab to remove a hard drive like so. So you'll see that this has just got a Seagate. This is a six terabyte drive, okay? So there are four six terabyte drives. And then what I'm gonna need to do is I need to configure this particular NAS uh, in a particular RAID group and into a pool and then actually create my SMB or NFS shares that are accessible on the network so that my users or my backup systems can access it. So quite easily, if you, do, if you do have a failed disc, you can literally just pull the tab, take the disc out, replace it. You know, obviously there's a little enclosure. This is a Synology enclosure where a standard hard drive sits. So this hard drive is uh, just really a standard SATA hard drive, all right, that is inside an enclosure. This is a Synology enclosure. So I literally would just buy a hard drive, the same specs, you can buy it off, you know, whatever your distributor is, your vendor is, uh, buy the hard drive, slot it into here, into the case, and then I'm good to go. And then I can literally just insert the disc like so and just push it into place. Front of the unit has a few LEDs around the four hard drives to let me know, you know if there's activity, the status, if there's a warning, if there's a failed disk, etc., etc. Of course, the unit itself, once it is configured, you can actually configure warnings and alerts so that it does send you alerts and warnings via emails, via a ticketing system, so that you do know if something has gone wrong. You can power the unit on if there's an alert. So if you know this is a particular color, letting you know that there's something wrong or not. And a little status light there as well, where I can check the status of the actual unit. So this particular unit is rackable. So what I mean by that is you wouldn't just buy this unit and just sit it inside uh, a room as is. Um, this is designed to fit into a server rack. So into a rack, into a cabinet that you'd have in some form of server room in a data center. Uh, where you know, you've know you got a particular rail. So on either end, you're gonna click these ends in, the front and to the back. I can literally then just slot my Synology into place. There's a left and the right one. Obviously, we wanna have it left and right. The back of the unit is quite simple. So you see there are dual powers in this particular device. You obviously set up your devices to have uh, dual powers. It's generally a good rule for any networking device in a cabinet in an organization, anything that's enterprise grade, should have two for redundancy for high availability. So I can easily just take one of these out. If one of them fail, for example, slot it out like so, there is the entire unit outside, making sure that it's facing the right way, and then you just slide it back into place obviously has its own fans, etc. So obviously in the most common sense is you, you would have left and right. Uh, so you're gonna be running one into one power, you know, one power rail in a cabinet or into a PDU, into a UPS, whatever it may be. And then the other one into a different power unit altogether. It defeats the point of having two of them if they're both running into the one single power unit and that power unit goes down. Further to that, you've got a couple of fans here. We've got four uh, Ethernet ports right here, LAN one, two, three, and four, and they're obviously gonna be connected to access the unit, um, and obviously the more you've got, the better from a high availability, even from a load balancing perspective. Got a COM port, a couple of USBs, a reset to actually form the reset uh, of the unit itself, if you, want to, if you want to reset it back to factory um, default, and then an eSATA port. That is the basic back of the unit. So we are here now inside of our 
comms room. This is our comms cabinet. Uh, we are going to be racking the unit. And you'll see that I've just got a number of slots here. So essentially I'm going to attach the rails on the left and on the right. And then once that is in on the front and on the back of the unit, I can then slide my device in as normal. And then I'm good to go. I can then connect it. I can connect it into my particular, to my particular switches, into my particular powers on my left and then right and then get that on the network and go ahead and configure it and then use it. So here is an example of a device that is racked. So you've got the cabinet right here. You've got the rail that's hooked up into the cabinet and then you've got the actual system itself which is connected to the rail. You see the top, this is the actual unit itself and then the rail runs all along the side here and it's actually you know, mounted into the actual side of the system and then onto the front and now to the back. So most units will either be 2RU or 1RU or more, depending on how big it is. This particular unit, that, the example that we're looking at here, this is a 2RU unit. So it's taking up two rack unit spaces. A 1RU would essentially be half of that space. And you'll see that right here, it's actually going to be clicked into one spot, but is capable of taking up to the 2RU. So obviously whenever you're racking uh, one of these systems, you wanna make sure that you've got enough capacity, enough storage space, to be able to accommodate either the 1RU or the 2RU or larger space. The powers are going to be running, as I said, into either a left or into a right. Here we've got the left one, so all of my left powers are running into this side, and then my right running into my right side. And I guess what's helpful about here is I've got them color coordinated, blue and red, to let me know which one is left and which one is right. So unit racked. Here so we've got a standard LED, got the power right next to it to switch the unit off and then some activities there across the four discs letting me know that everything is working as it should be. So you can really see right here that the back of the unit is you know, halfway into the rack because it's not a full length device. There it is cable from the back. We've just got one ethernet running into it just for testing but we'll obviously configure more than one from a redundancy perspective. And you see that it's just easily just clicked on in the back of the rail here. Just clicks on, no requirement for screws or anything like that. So there you have it, that is the OV of the Synology. Uh, it's generally gonna be used in the SMB space, in the small, medium business space. Fantastic unit, rackable, goes into a cabinet like the one that's behind me. And that is the OV, I hope you found it helpful. If you did, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up. Subscribe to Digital Bike Computing as well for a whole bunch of more videos.